to the channel. Today we're going to go over uh, what I have inside of my Milwaukee Packout first aid kit. I've had a few requests so we figure we'll do a video on it. So here we go. Alright so here we have the uh, Milwaukee Packout organizer. Um, Milwaukee does make their own first aid kit but I opted out and uh, I wanted to build my own to make it my own and to uh, put some things in there that are a little better quality with a generic um, first aid kit. So this box is uh, roughly $50 and if you would buy the first aid kit in this box it is $145 for the first aid kit in the box. Um, they also make a smaller version um, that I think that was uh, roughly $80. So I've had a lot of medical uh, gear already. So I wanted just to organize it a little bit better in a pack out box and uh, put it in the back with my, uh, my gear back there. So let's get into what we have inside. Um, band-aids have a few different size band-aids just a you know just a box um, multi size band-aids I have hand sanitizing wipes which is always good to have to clean clean off uh, you know clean off your hands or if you need to clean off anything else um, here we have some uh, gloves. Just, I think that's one pair of gloves just to have. I do have a gate belt in here um, temporarily uh, for a tourniquet. I am looking for a decent tourniquet right now to add to this box. And I also have a lighter inside of there. I need to get more gloves. All right, and this one uh, individual packets of Benadryl. You know, you never uh, you never know. You could be out in the wilderness on trails and uh, run across something that you're allergic to, and you have these. I had these laying around. So I just went ahead and threw these in here. Uh, just some regular cough drops. These two large boxes here, I have instant uh, cold packs. This one instant hot packs. And I have a few of them in here. I have one, two, three, four, four of those which would come in handy for any need. Uh, this section here, you got some uh, generic Tylenol, new box, a couple, uh, couple of medical tapes. These are um, three inch wrap gauze, a few of those in there, along with some gauze sponges just for large wounds. Um, you can use these and these to wrap. Maybe if you have a head wound for a rollover or something like that, you could use these uh, to wrap your gauze and tape. Um, a set of medical shears. These are always good to have. 
I have a razor knife. Then we have sunscreen, which is always good to have uh, in the summers. Sometimes you forget it. It's always good to have in your medical kit. And then I have some uh, burn reliefs with the lidocaine. This is always good to have as well. In case you forget to put this on or you may get some sort of burn from an engine or something like that. Um, exhaust. Exhaust pipes from, you know, crawling underneath or, you know, you have to fix the engine in some sort of fashion and you burn your hand. It's good to have. Here we just have some white uh, rags. Just, you know, just in case you need a rag, um, you know, for water, to make a wet rag for something, you know, things like that. I've had these under the cabinet, these, these uh, spray bottles, empty for quite some time under our kitchen sink. So I like to uh, add hand sanitizer. I have a few all over the place. But I put uh, some per peroxide in one of these um, and labeled it. Always good to have peroxide. And then hand sanitizer in the other one. there you have it it's pretty basic um, nothing really out of the ordinary in here nothing really uh, too fancy or, or anything special so if you have any ideas on uh, how I can improve my kit or how you would build yours drop it in the comments let me know and uh, I'm always up for improving uh, my kits so there you have it so I hope this quick video helped you guys like I said before if you have any comments suggestions uh, recommendations on how you can improve yours and how I can improve my first aid kit drop it in the comments so I appreciate you guys for watching see you next time